Hi folks, this is Max from Galaxy S2 root.com. So if you used um, uh, my method 2, uh, which uses the, uh, well, method 2 root to root your phone, um, then you can install uh, Clockwork Mod Recovery to install new ROMs. So let's do that um, if you don't have Clockwork Mod Recovery already. Uh, what we'll do is we'll, we'll put it into, um, you don't have to connect it, disconnect it. Download mode. Mm -hmm. Hold down the volume down, the home button right here, and also the power button up here. And then hold, hold them all down together, all right, until it reboots into download mode. All right, and then hit volume up, and it's in download mode. And then you're going to connect um, your micro USB to your Windows computer. For now, um, I'll have a, another instruction set for Linux and Mac if there's enough people who want it. And now let's go to our computer. Next, go and download this file called the um, Galaxy S2 Recovery.zip. If you unzip it, you'll find these two files, um, basically. And uh, you'll have to have uh, Samsung keys installed. That installs the drivers. You can check by going to um, Control Panel, Hardware and Sound, Device Manager. And if you root it using my method, you probably have it already installed. Um, if you go to USB, Universal Serial Bus Controllers, you should see Samsung Mobile USB CDC Composite Device or something similar. If you do, you're ready to go. Um, double click on Odin. Oops. Next, what you want to do is um, uh, double click on version 1.85. Sorry, I had the wrong version on there. And you get this thing, and if you get the COM18, you're good to go. Um, don't worry about the Epic Forge, it, it doesn't matter. And uh, hit PDA, and choose the um, choose the file, find the folder where you unzip the files, um, Galaxy S2 Recovery, and select this file that was in that same folder, GTI 9100. Open, and uh, hit Start. I'll show you while it's doing it. So I'll get all worked up here. And uh, hit start and it should flash. And it's flashing. And when it's reboots, you should have um, an exc exclamation mark, which means uh, the new um, recovery has been installed. And uh, only do this for gingerbread, because this is only for gingerbread. And uh, I'll show you how to get into Clockwork Mod Recovery. Also, um, what did I forget? You can get rid of that exclamation mark by making a USB jig. I have on my site also. You can put plug this in while your phone's off, and it'll reset the counter and get rid of that thing. I'll show you that too, just for fun. So let me switch the camera angle. Oh, folks, so it's done here, um, as you can see. Uh, let's boot into Clockwork Mod Recovery. Um, you can actually use ROM Manager to do it too. You can go to ROM Manager and hit. Um, actually, no, don't don't use ROM Manager. Just hold down Volume Up, Volume Up. Uh, this Home button, Center button, and the Power button, and just wait until. Um, and don't. Don't do this on a AT &T, the US versions, AT&T, um, T-Mobile, or Sprint versions because uh, you'll software break your phone. This is only for i9100. And there you go. Now you can flash new ROMs um, and, uh, you know, it'll be all good. And I'll show you that, I'll show you that, uh, how to get rid of that sign. I'm going to power it off. All right. Oh, there's the center button. Yeah. Power off. And you can buy one of these USB jigs for like 10 bucks on Amazon, 5 bucks on eBay. Or you make your own like I did. It only took me like 10 minutes. A little bit of soldering, a little bit of work. And plug it in, and it will it'll reset the counter. You'll see a download mode. There you go. And you can see erasing download information succeeded. Um, it still says Samsung official. So I'm going to take it out. Uh oh. I'll have links to where you can make it. Or you can buy it too. And then we're going to reset it. Just hold down the power button until it resets. And then now you shouldn't have the exclamation mark. You should have a um, clockwork mod recovery installed with a rooted 
Galaxy S2. Voila. Anyway, that was how to install Clockwork Modern Recovery on a rooted um, GTI 9100 um, Galaxy S2. All right. And don't forget to subscribe to GalaxyS2Root.com and subscribe to my email list. I only send out emails like once a, once a week, maybe twice a week at the most. Um, it updates you on the the weekly, you know, if I have any new ROM reviews or whatnot. It's definitely helpful um, to get stay updated if there's new new you know ICS updates and stuff. So don't forget to sign up. It's on my site GalaxyS2Root.com. I think it's on the sidebar or it's on the bottom of the article. So check it out. And uh, don't forget to subscribe um, on my YouTube channel. Thanks, y'all. And don't leave. Uh, don't forget to leave questions. I try to answer all of them. I get like a ton of messages every day, so I, I you know, I try my best. Um, anyway, thanks, y'all, and see y'all later. Bye, bye.